over here uh, and let's say light is originating from here goes at a 60 degree angle then reflects and bounces off you know what I'm gonna make this problem more interesting don't like doing boring things let's make this 30 degrees to the horizontal and then it bounces off there once again so can anyone tell me uh, I know this angle Please, come up here, I need someone. I can't do this just by myself. Come on guys, this isn't even university geometry, it's tr basic trigonometry. One of you, please. Anyone? Don't just look and stare. Come up here yourself. I don't see a single one of you raising your hand and that's bad. Because that means you're not engaged. No, no, don't start talking. Start coming up to the board and doing the math. No one wants to do this. Not a single one of you. <laughs> Why? This is disappointing. This is disappointing. Okay, whatever, I guess I'll have to do it myself then. Okay, this is 60, this is a right triangle, this has to be 30, so because it reflects over here, this must also be 30, and since these two are complementary, this must be 60 degrees, thus this is a right angle, by the way. So, uh, what's gonna happen here is, uh, okay, let's see, okay. Uh, okay, so let's just do something cheeky. We know that this is 60 degrees right here. By the law of interior angles, this must also be 60. I know, that was disappointing, but it was quick. So that means that this angle right here is 60 degrees. Okay, now can I talk to you about something known as the critical angle? Do any of you know what the critical angle is? Uh, say it louder. Guess I'm going to come over there so I can hear you guys. <laughs> okay. What did you say? One upon sine C. One upon sine C. Okay. One over sine C? I have no clue what you mean by that, but uh, you're not right. <laughs> of what the critical angle is. And tell me it in words, not equations. Oh, you? Yeah, sorry. The angle of incidence such that the reflected rays graces on the reflected surface. Well, I can get what you're trying to say, and it's basically correct. So the critical angle, which I'm going to represent by theta c, when and uh, the angle of incidence theta i is greater than theta c, then theta i is going to be equal to theta r. In other words, if a light ray has an angle of incidence that's greater than theta r, so let's say theta i over here is greater than theta r, then it will just reflect. 
instead of actually coming to the surface and refracting. So now, uh, how do we calculate theta c? Does anyone have an idea? Raise your hand. How do you guys always flop when I ask you a mathematics related question? Come on! Anyone have an idea of how to find the critical angle? Anyone? It can be wrong. I'm just looking for an answer. Say something, please. Gotta get you guys engaged. I hear some, oh no. I hear some people talking. Why don't you talk about how to find the critical angle instead of talking about whatever you're talking about? Oh, uh, someone raised their hand? Oh, uh, I'm just gonna come over because I can't hear you from the way back. Yeah. Oh, same person. Uh, first, uh, reflective index. We can find with the reflective index. Uh, reflective index equals to upon sine c. Sine c. The c is uh, reflective or oh, the critical angle. Uh, well, it does have something to do with the refractive, in the index of reflection, or ref huh? It does have something to do with the index of refraction, so I guess we did better than last time, but. Uh, theta C is equal to the inverse sine of the second medium over uh, the, the index of refraction of the second medium over the index of refraction of the first medium. You guys get this equation? All right, oh yeah, I guess that was a thumbs up. All right, so now, does anyone know what that means? Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you a hint. So what is the maximum of this? Well, no, oh, actually. Yes, uh, x cannot be greater than one if you wanna plug it in to sine minus one of x. So, if n2 might over n1 cannot be greater than one, has to be less than or equal to one, what does that mean? What does that mean regarding the index of, refra of reflections of all of these? Index of refractions, sorry. Louder, I heard something. N2 cannot be greater than n1. Good, good, finally. A good answer regarding something mathematical.